Welcome to a quick video tutorial on using the graphing calculator to help you find the quadratic function that fits, well, you guessed it, quadratic data. Let's get started. Here is a sample problem where you're asked to find the 150th term of the following sequence. So you're looking at this sequence and maybe it's quadratic, but you're not really sure. So if you look at it more carefully, the differences in each of these terms as we go along, we'll see that First, the difference is 1, then it's 3, between 7 and 12, and there's a difference of 5, and 12 and 19 has a difference of 7. The pattern may begin to emerge for you here, that 1 and 3 have a difference of 2, 3 and 5, also a difference of 2, and 5 and 7, a difference of 2. These second differences, if those are ever constant, you've got a quadratic sequence in this data here. So let's go move on to the calculator. What we're going to do is go to the stat menu and actually go ahead and enter this data um, by going to the edit option. You may have some stuff left over, okay? At this point, you want to go and just clear it out. The simplest way to do that is to go to the top of your list and press the clear button, okay? At this stage, you don't want to press L. You don't want to press delete. That's very bad. So. Clear it out and press enter, and all the data should go away, but the list L1 should stay. Clear out this one as well. If you don't have L1 or L2 for whatever reason, don't worry right now because we're going to have a way to work around that in a few moments. What you do need to have is two columns that you can enter data into. First column, we want to go ahead and just put the number of the number term. For instance, we've got five terms that we already know. So we're just going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right in order. And then once we've got that entered, in the second list, we will enter the actual data. So the first term is 3, 4, 7, 12, 19, for instance. Okay, once we've got that entered in, we're pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the stat menu again. But this time we're going to slide over to the calculate menu where we're going to use the quadratic regression option. Now, regression is basically the calculator's attempt to fit a, an equation to a bunch of data. And we've got this data here that we know is in fact quadratic. So when we do this fit, um, it should be perfect for us. And when we run this quadratic regression, press enter, before we press enter again, we're going to tell it which data we want it to try to fit an equation for. We're going to use three things. The first two is the name of those lists that we entered those data into, so L1 and L2 in our case. If you use something different, let's say you had L3 and L4, or maybe for whatever reason they got switched around, um, this is an opportunity for you to enter those in that um, for your particular situation. So in mine, it was L1 and L2. So I'm going to go back to the stat menu by first pressing second stat, which brings me the list of my, um, my data lists. In this case, L1 is the first list I want to use. And then I want to do that same process to bring up L2. Notice I separated these with a comma. So I wanted to run the regression to use these two lists together as data points. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a third parameter in here. Um, this is unique because it's going to take the, take the result, the, the equation that it comes up with, and put it right into um, the function for me. And I'm going to go ahead and press the variables key here and slide over to y variables or y vars, whatever you want to call it. And go ahead and press enter. And I've got all my y1 through y8 or 9. And I go ahead and just select y1 or whatever one you like if you want to put it in the second. When you press enter, you get the regression. It runs through. It gives us the coefficients a, b, and c. And if you press y equals, it actually also goes ahead and puts that quadratic function into, um, into y1 automatically, which is terrific because it helps us do things like um, the table, for instance. If I go to the table now, um, I can see that as x values change. Remember, in this case, x represents the term number. That's important. So the first term, second term, third term. And then the corresponding data for that, of course, is 3, 4, 7. 
Um, so if I go to the fifth term, it's 19, which exactly matches our data that we were given. Now, the problem asks us to find the 150th term. So the 150th term, I could just press down, 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 or I could maybe have the table start at 150, but there's a nice way to use function notation on the calculator to do this. So let's quit out of here and go back to the variables key and slide over to y vars and select y1. And just as you would for f of 150, we'll use parentheses and put y1 of 150 and we press enter. And we get an answer of 22,204, which should be right, of course. Um, but just if you're those people who are skeptical, we can go ahead and just do this notation for the fifth term. And you'll see that when we do y1 of 5, in fact, we do get 19, which is exactly what the data showed initially. So that's how you use the graphing calculator to fit quadratic data and enjoy.